Today I'm going to talk to you about doing a modification on how to uh, take your control box for your XP Deus and waterproof it. Now I didn't come up with this. I saw other people do it, but I'm just going to go through it real quick and show you some tips so you can get through it pretty quickly. Now the first thing you'll need is one of these waterproof cases. Um, they're sold on eBay, other places, relatively cheap. I think this one cost me about $15. This is a a R Y C A brand Ar Arica? I don't know. Anyways, they all have this little thing you flip down here to open it up, which I have no fingernails, so it's going to make life difficult. But on the side here, you got this little thing you flip open, which releases a top that spins. And now you can uh, open the case up all the way. Remove the little tag there, and your XP Deus will fit right in like that. Your remote. And when you put it back together, it makes a watertight seal, so that closes it, that locks it in place. And uh, you can see the dais through the screen. These are made for cell phones for diving, so, you know, just look around under cell phone, waterproof case, or something like that. So now, this screen here, this is like a silicone rubber, which is sealed all the way because of that gasket in there. And you can't get it out. And so that takes care of the remote control. The second part you'll need is this little clip is the clip that was on the end of your dais right here. Alright, so you'll need that little clip and then you'll need some uh, epoxy glue. I used Gorilla Glue and what happens is this little black cap when you open it is actually mounted in here. You break that out and then on top of this is a plastic piece keeping it sealed. You break that off. So now you have like a syringe. Uh, you squeeze a little bit out so that they flow evenly onto a box or something and discard that pile and then go over to another little pile and squeeze you out a nice daub, okay? And once you squeeze out that nice little daub, you have to mix it relatively quickly for about 20 seconds. Uh, there's a little stick that was in here, which I can't find now. But anyways, you can mix it with whatever you got that you can throw away. And once you mix it for 20 seconds, you take these and wipe them off with a paper towel so that you don't want any of the epoxy to be here or it'll harden up if it's mixed up. So what you do is just pull this back a little bit, wipe this off, put this cap on. You do that real quick, you go back to your pile that you just mixed up. And here's the key to this is when you're putting on this little cap here, if you notice this has a bump here. So I'm going to try to get this on film. If you look at the handle, you see how that bump if you go too far, it'll hit right here. If you go too high, it'll hit right here. So hold this, you know, with no glue on it, and slide it all the way down to this bump and make sure that it's going to fit. Okay, just kind of put it like that so you know where it's at because it's real critical. Once you glue that in there, you see how tight that clearance is? I'm hoping you see this. But there's not a whole lot of room, so now it's sitting right on there. So anyways, once you figure out exactly where that goes, smear you some, you know, take this over, smear you some uh, epoxy on the back, and then very carefully, you know, kind of line it up so you make sure it's straight. Set that down. Okay, and in this case, mine went right to the slip here. Just set it down and make sure it's as straight as you can eyeball it straight. Okay, just mash it a little bit. It does come out here. You know, if you really wanted to, you could hold it and then clean it. They recommend you clamp it, but it, because of the curves, it's kind of hard to get a clamp on here, plus it's a silicone. So I basically just set it in place, and I just pressed it down and held it for about, you know, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Then I, you know, just lightly let go of it, and it was fine. I could have taken a little rag or a Q-tip and maybe taken some of that out, but nobody sees it. It's clear. It looks pretty good. So now it sits on your dais just fine. Just like that, it slides in, and when you look at it, that's what it'll look like. And you can, you know, access everything, and because of screen, you can still push the buttons and turn it on. And it works nice. So the next mod I'll do, uh, further just showing you how to waterproof it, is I got a kit in the mail, and it's to run the uh, cord up from the cable <coughs> to the back of this, so that... You can now put your dais in the water, and that'll be the next mod. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that fast little video. Have a great day. I have to get out and do some 
some detecting and um, once again that's what it looks like once it's on it's very easy to put on you just make sure once again that's the critical part that this is in the right place make sure that when you put this on this is horseshoe part is facing up like that if you put it on the other way you're sunk because once this stuff dries I don't think it's coming off have a great day guys see ya bye